What's going on guys? We are back with more Tower of Fantasy. Today I got for you guys an artificial island guide. It's going to let you know everything you need to know about the artificial island, what to do, what kind of rewards you can get, and how you should go about spending your resources on your very first week. If you guys would like, I can go ahead and do this again every single week. That way you guys can just follow along and build the island the same exact way I do. That way you guys don't mess up. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do that. I could go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I'll let you guys know exactly how to do it in this video and you guys should be able to do it very easily all by yourself. Now, to begin with, you get to your artificial island. You're gonna be in an area just like this. You're gonna walk up over here and you're going to see the Bangest guy over here. Go ahead and talk to him right about right here is where he will be standing. And then you'll go ahead and complete his little side quest. And then after that, you will unlock the ability to build. Now, I also forgot to mention how you unlock the artificial island is up for debate for the most part. It's either you finish the story up until you get to the next area, or you need to be level 55 to 60. So try to go ahead and just finish the main story or go ahead and try to hit level 60 and you should unlock it. Now, once you have building available, as you can see right here, I've already leveled up some of the stuff. You get some materials right here, but when you first start off, you're not going to have any materials at all. Now, how do you get the materials? Well, you go ahead and start killing every single thing you see on the island. Literally every single thing. If you see a bear, you kill it. If you see a beaver, you kill it. If you see some hyenas, you kill it. That's going to be the way that you get your materials is by murdering everything on your island. Now. There is a very nice guide right here. If you look at this image right here, it goes ahead and shows you the perfect farming route for you guys to be able to make sure you hit every single mob on your map without missing anything. Now you can choose where to start, however you want to start it, but make sure you just follow this guide right here and hit every single mob. Now, if you're not, if you're feeling lazy one week and you do not really need the extra gold materials, the metal materials or whatnot, at the very least, make sure that you do kill the four world bosses. As you can see, there is four different world bosses on the bottom left, the top right, the far left, and the far right. So make sure you go ahead and kill each weekly boss. The reason why you want to kill each weekly boss, let's go ahead and take this image off, is because the weekly bosses drop these currencies down here, which is the wood and it is the composite materials. Those are exclusive weekly materials that are only dropped by the boss. As you see right here, a rare construction material dropped by the boss of Artificial Island. You cannot get this by upgrading any of your houses. So if you miss out on this, you're gonna be missing out on very, very rare currency. Now, what do we use this rare currency for? That is the currency that you're going to be using later on to craft your SSR matrices right here. As you see right here, this is the same material that I was talking about earlier. It uses the drops from the bosses. So make sure if you're feeling lazy one week and you don't feel like killing all the little bosses or the little mobs, at least follow this little image right here and just go kill those world bosses. That is far more important than killing those little mobs. However, the little mobs are important the large mobs, the world bosses, is what will let you get these SSR matrices. So if you miss a world boss, you're basically missing a chance of crafting an SSR matrix. If you're missing out on killing the little mobs, you're just delaying your chance of getting to the SSR matrix by delaying the time you get to level 7 on your upgrades. So, that is that. That's that's the farming. That's the way you get the materials. Now we'll go ahead and talk about spending these materials once you get the materials. Now, as you see right here, there are six different buildings that you can create. Now, which building do you want to level up first? Well, you're going to want to level up each of them equally for the most part, because each of them creates a different thing. This one creates some metal. This one creates some energy. This one creates renovation materials, supply materials, and fiber materials. As you see, they all create something differently, and they all will, will increase the amount that you get weekly by a certain amount per hour. Now, all of these items that are created every hour, you don't need to log on every hour and collect it. It will store inside of it every 24 hours. 
in order to claim the stuff that is inside of the buildings, just go ahead and go over here and press claim. If you have anything to claim, it will go ahead and claim it right here. As you see, I have nothing to claim right now because I've already done so. But if you do have something to claim, it will instantly clear out all of those little houses and give you all the materials. So make sure you log in at least once every 24 hours and just press that claim button. That way you're not wasting any of those materials. Now, once all of your houses have been upgraded as high as they can go, then you will then upgrade your development center. Do not do it the other way. Do not level up your development center to level 4 to level 5 thinking, okay, well now that it's level 5, I can go ahead and do these crafting. I can go ahead and start crafting once it's level 5, right? So that's the priority. No, you don't want to do that because using by upgrading your development center, it costs a lot of materials. As you see right now, I could upgrade it right now, but that would be a huge mistake because you're going to be using 300 of everything and then you will not be able to be upgrading these buildings as well. As you see, it costs 500 each of these to upgrade these, and we actually need to upgrade these first, so we will go ahead and do so. So you guys can also follow along with me because if you go ahead and clear out your whole entire island, you should have similar, if not the same exact amount. I may have missed a couple mobs, you may have missed a couple mobs as well, but generally we should be very similar on our items. So with that in mind, Let's go ahead and start upgrading our buildings. Starting off with the pawpaw house. The reason why I start with the pawpaw house is simply because it will give you the... Let me see where it is right here. It will give you... Not that one. It will give you the Samir matrices. So I'm always going to level that one up first because I want to start crafting the Samir matrices ASAP. However, like I said, we're still going to be upgrading them all equally. So we'll go ahead and try to upgrade everything. Hopefully we can go ahead and upgrade everything to level three. As you see right here, nope, I can't upgrade that to level three. We'll go ahead and go to the pumpkin house and we can upgrade that to level three. Now, as you see, I'm missing a few materials right here. I do believe that you can find these out in the wild. The things that drop the renovation materials is the bears and stuff so i most likely missed out on a couple bears so i'm gonna have to go ahead and rerun through the map and then i should be able to get my kitty house upgraded to level three and then my development center if i find enough bears i should be able to upgrade this <clears throat> to level four and that should be pretty much it for this week so <clears throat> Assuming we can find the rest of the renovation materials, then we will be able to get all of our main houses to level 3, and then we'll be able to get our main base up to level 4. So that should be ultimately your goal for the day. So that's basically it, guys. You're going to be going through your island. As you see right here, I'm just going to be riding around on my island. Just go ahead and double check that I didn't miss any of those bears or whatnot. If I did, it's not a huge deal. I'll go ahead and catch up on the renovations later on. As you see, yeah, I missed out on a couple bears here because I didn't know at the time when I was farming through my map the first time that those were so important to be getting. I thought that only the mobs were important. But yes, even the little tiny guys are important for you guys to be killing as well. So if you're missing out on any materials, then that means you missed out on some possible mobs. Now, I killed another mob that gave me another 2030, and I'm still a little bit short, so if I go ahead and clear out the rest of the map, I may be able to find the last 500 that I need. And one last thing I almost forgot to mention is the exchange store. Now, for the first couple weeks that you guys are getting started on your island, I recommend not purchasing anything from this shop yet because you're going to need to start building up those materials faster and faster in order to have an excess amount to purchase from this store. Because right now, your priority is simply leveling up your houses and leveling up your base. You do not want to be wasting your materials purchasing clusters or joint chips or even purchasing augment boxes. You don't want to be wasting that just yet. You want to be saving it. Now, on the flip side, by the end of the month, I recommend doing this on the very last day if possible, or possibly a little bit sooner if you don't trust yourself with doing it on the last day, maybe do it a couple days before. But at the very least, do buy these special vouchers. These special vouchers are an insane deal. They're such a low price, you can only buy one a month. So go ahead and at the very least, 
purchase those special vouchers, but I do recommend holding off until the end of the month to do so. That way you can still upgrade your buildings first, and then you'll be able to purchase those special vouchers at the very end. Now, when you get to these other items, such as the special gifts and whatnot, again, just hold off for now. It might be tempting to spend your little extra amounts here and there, but you do not want to be doing that yet because you need to be upgrading your buildings as fast as possible. You do not want to fall behind on that. Otherwise, you'll be falling behind on being able to craft SSR matrices. Now, with all that said, if you guys are really hurting for a little bit extra gold, if you're hurting for a little bit extra clusters or something like that, it's not going to be the end of the world to buy that. However, if you aren't in need of such a thing, go ahead and hold off. I recommend waiting a couple days and then purchasing them after your houses are at a higher level. Now that's all I've got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video and I helped you out at all, feel free to hit me up with a like and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.